so uh, we can actually expand this thing uh, in 3d actually so that uh, let's make it very generic because there's an z axis also right in 3d space so this can be uh, expressed in uh, 3d something like uh, this uh, okay so let me just put it this way so it is something like uh, you have x dash y dash is a dash okay is equal to a b c d that cannot change i'll fill the other things uh, with you okay uh, into x y z okay because you have three dimensions plus tx ty and this has to be zero because i am not going to put translation now let's put these numbers in okay so what x dash is x dash is a into x plus b into y plus this into z so this has to be zero right and similarly y dash is c into x plus d into y plus this guy into zero so this is zero into z so perfect and now z dash is no come i mean i am not going to do a projective transformation so affine transformation so i have to be here right so zero into zero so zero into x plus zero into y so no x and y components z is unchanged so it's a dash is one so z dash is z itself so z dash is nothing but zero into x plus 0 into y plus 1 into z plus 0. So that means z dash is nothing but z. Perfect. So this is the 3D affine transformation matrix. Okay. Transformation <laughs> matrix for you. Okay. So generic representation, MATLAB, Python, all the tools have this sort of representation. So you may not even need to do everything from scratch. You just define your transformation matrix and you are set. Excellent. So that's it. So next uh, uh, lecture, we will actually have detailed expression, I mean detailed demo on affine and uh, prob probably projective transformation and the use cases. Okay. So till then, uh, bye and uh, see you in the next lecture.